filter. There's no plastic in these solutions, or at least there shouldn't be. So it doesn't matter if plastic's getting trapped within the glass fibers, or in this case, and the glass fiber filters are also a little cheaper. So I've already prepared this with a one micron glass fiber filter, and then I kept it covered till I'm ready to use it. This one will filter pretty easily, but as a general rule of thumb, we try to keep the volume that we're adding to the filter flat um, kept pretty small. So typically I try to keep it around 150 mils or less at a time just in case it gets clogged. from a solution so this filter is garbage. Just throw it out. So potassium hydroxide etches glass so when we store it we do store it in a plastic container. We're using polypropylene because poly or so PET can be slightly damaged by potassium hydroxide. So Try to get a polypropylene container, because that should be safe. Again, if there's any contamination coming from the container, it should be accounted for in your blanks, because you're going to be adding this same solution to your blank. Is there a difference between polyethylene and polypropylene? They're both all of them. Is there some reason why you want PP rather than PE? As far as I know, it should be OK. The only thing I know that you shouldn't use is PT. And I've also triple rinsed this before I'm putting the solution in here. When I label these solutions, I make sure that I label what size it was filtered through just so everyone knows which one they should be actually adding to their fish in case it hasn't been filtered yet. So keep this covered as much as possible until you're ready to use it. So. Again, this is the fish that we're going to use. So you can put your fish. put it in the oven it's going at a fairly low temperature so it should be fine in a plastic container the amount of fish that you're putting in the container is going to be predetermined for you so it should be that the sample of fish that you get to use is the correct amount Whether or not you need to rinse the container that the fish comes in will depend on whether the sample is spiked ahead of time or if you're spiking the samples yourself. So yet to be confirmed, I think Charles said yesterday that it's probably going to be spiked for you, but we need to confirm that. Whatever the final decision is, we'll let you know in the SOPs what you need to do. So for now, I'm tightly capping this. When I put this in the oven, I'm gonna loosen the cap pressure builds up in the container over time as it heats up, so you want to make sure it's not tightly capped so that it doesn't pop off. Celsius. 
So it's a good idea, even if you think your oven is at 45 degrees Celsius, to just double check with the thermometer to make sure that it's the correct temperature, because we found that that's not always accurate. Uh, oh yeah, true. No, not yet. Sorry. I should have added the KOH. <laughs> <laughs> It'll magically heat itself up, to digest itself. Sorry. Preheating. <laughs> good eye. So, you add the KOH to three times the volume of the sample. So this doesn't have to be ex exactly accurate. I'm just gonna sort of shift this around to look at roughly where the volume of the sample is and then add it to three times that volume. So this size container is, I think it's a 500 milliliter propylene container. This should be the correct size. If the amount of fish that we send you is adjusted and we need to change the size of the container, that'll be reflected in the SOP. one that was in for a little, around a day. This is a partially digested fish. Because I took this out two days ago, it's a little more digested than it was when I prepped it, but there's still some chunks in here. So if you look at, when you get a chance to come around and look at the top, there's some physical chunks that haven't been digested yet. You want to wait until it's a liquidy solution. This is one that came out of the oven. The digestion was completed a couple of days ago, so now it's cooled down. Some of the fat has solidified, so that's the chunks that you're seeing. If you take it out of the oven and leave it for a couple days, it's normal for this to look like, but you don't want to see like the pink chunks of the fish fillet still in there. If you want to have a look at one that is completed but still warm, so the fat's still liquidy, then you can open up the oven door and look at the one that's already in there, and you can have a look at it. Um, so I'll give you guys a chance to come up and see these if you want while we prep for the next step. Just don't uncap them, they smell really bad. <laughs> I, I'd rather leave it on the table just because there's potassium hydroxide in it. I'd rather not like pass it around. <laughs> oh, no, I already, yeah. Okay, yeah, twist it the other way, there's labels. You can take a picture of the labels. <laughs> Where's the, uh, where's the, the idealized, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty and non-fatty. 